birds seem to like it, squirrels. You know, it is a nice peaceful little garden here. So yeah, it's quite nice to uh, be a part of that. Hello guys, hello is Asha. Hello, uh, welcome to Battersea Park. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Flowers. Yes, uh, we are here for the park. I've heard it's a nice park. This was Asha's Asha's recommendation. I think I've been here before, like maybe once upon a time, uh, briefly. I think, and I worked around here some, for some reason. Um, but yes, we're here, park. Uh, it was a sunny day, it's now a nice London grey day. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's still nice, peaceful. So yeah, we'll do a little walk around here. And then I think later on we're going, we're heading towards more Battersea Power Station, which there is a light festival going on. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a nighttime thing. So we'll get some daylight bits here for like the next hour or so. A bit of nature. And then we'll go get lights and bright lights and lights and litten up. Litten up. Lit up. By art. Illuminated. <laughs> um, yes, by art. Somewhere over in that direction. So this park, <laughs> this park is huge. I would say it's maybe this is the same size or bigger than Hyde Park. It does remind me a little bit about Central Park in New York. Maybe because of the big roads. Yeah, that's true. Um, and um, also you can uh, like rent a boat in here uh, and, and just uh, do a little paddle boat. Puzzle boat? Sure. Uh, uh, thing, like around, drift around. And um, <clears throat> also there's people playing cricket uh, and, and walking the dogs, running, you know, all the parky things to do. Okay, we're gonna enjoy. Okay, so this is the English garden um, there are some daffodils and things and little flowers kind of bursting through getting ready for spring but obviously mostly it's kind of like I think that would probably be a rose walkway thing there and quite a lot of the things are still kind of waiting obviously it's kind of almost almost spring towards the end of winter So yeah, I think during during spring it'll be a lot more colourful. But you know, it's still nice, peaceful. Birds seem to like it. Squirrels. You know, it is a nice, peaceful little garden in here. So yeah, it's quite nice to uh, be a part of that. Anyway, now we're going this way. What shall we find? Who knows? somewhere where are we we're still in Battersea obviously still hear the birds but look at this Da -da -da. that is the London Peace Pagoda um, so and actually inside it um, are various states or various uh, Buddhas uh, from obviously Buddhism and it's overlooking the water I think it shows his four states, does it? I, I four states sure. of being. So I think down there there's a story where there's four states, four uh, sections of his life. So he was a prince and he left the palace one day. He'd been in the palace most of his life, or all of his life, I believe. And then one day he left the palace and seeing that there was suffering, seeing that there was people, old people dying or sick people or poor people, Having been in the palace, you know, safe and um, I guess 
you know, without want or need, he then sees people who are obviously impoverished and kind of are in suffering. So upon that realization, he uh, then decides to give up all his worldly goods, leave the palace and try to find an answer or something to help uh, the suffering of people, humanity, the world, humans. Uh, and then obviously he becomes, well, eventually, I mean, after a long time of study and da 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 da, da and meditation and various um, kind of practices, and he then becomes enlightened, becomes the Buddha, and then teaches Buddhism. Uh, and that has then kind of spread from India around the world. India? India. Yeah. So yeah, that is the pagoda. Now I'm losing after down there somewhere. Uh, I was just reading up about it actually. It is Japanese script on the bottom there. And it actually came from Japan. Um, the peace pagoda is kind of something that actually uh, the Japanese kind of do and they send them all around the world from what I've kind of gathered. And then on each side, so each side you know, faces uh, north, east, south, west. And each one has a, a various state of the Buddha's life or a various you know, uh, time, specific time in the Buddha's life. I don't know, I mean, I could probably work it out because I have been in like Thailand for quite a long time and around Buddhist countries for quite a long time. Uh, and I know the Buddhist story, but yeah, I don't know. Didn't really have time to have a look and kind of decipher which one was which and what happened and what. But yeah, if you look it up, I'll maybe put a link in the description and you can check it out yourself. But yeah, really interesting. It actually came from Japan. So there, now we know, and now we're going this way. So we've just stumbled upon these funny looking contraptions, which uh, we kind of believe is to do with, there's like a tea terrace over there. So I guess you, you know, probably during summer more than winter, you go get your tea and there'd probably be tables sitting uh, here, sit, drink your tea, admire the uh, sculptured uh, hedges and bushes. And yeah, just kind of chill out. I could almost, like as soon as I sort of saw this and then, you know, just the way that it's like immaculately set out, uh, I could almost imagine it, you know, being in the 1900s, 1800s maybe, um, you know, and everybody kind of sitting around with their full suit, top hat on, and then, you know, the women in like full dresses, um, even in the hot, hot sun, and maybe with like a, Funny sun umbrella with loads of tassels. Uh, yeah, but obviously that's my imagination. Who knows what actually happened? We're going that way. We just, uh, oh gosh, just got run over by a dog there. I uh, just came across this, which looks like they're setting up for some sort of marathon run something or other or maybe I mean they've been going for five hours it says over there so maybe that already there's people already running somewhere in the world and they're gonna come here uh, yeah if you're uh, that kind of inclined I mean I do a lot of running <laughs> but uh, yeah this is called runthrough.co.uk if you want to check it out I don't know it's a really nice place obviously to kind of end up there's the little what's that like a something in the middle there like a bandstand uh, yeah we're kind of feels like it wants to start raining a little bit so we're gonna we're gonna start moving so this is the part where there is a cricket uh, uh, field and I guess some football uh, there, there's some people training there um, and then this one is uh, the field that is uh, uh, used for playing Blurt, help me. Bowls. And in French? 
Well, I mean, it's a slightly different thing, but it's Patong. Patong. So, yeah, I've seen around 10 years ago people playing here in summer. So it's a nice thing to come and see, actually, because it's just kind of like a competition. So... I'm just stopping past the uh, paddle boats here. Obviously, I just filmed one back over there, which I guess, I don't know, maybe it got lost. Um, we we're just outside what's known as the Pear Tree Cafe. So I guess you can go there, have your uh, tea, coffee, cakes, whatever, and then jump on your paddle boat and get seasick and then throw it and then go back and eat some more cake and coffee and tea and then do it all over again. Ah, yes, good idea. Um, we are still, well, you can just see the tops there. See that little, hang on, where are we pointing? Yes, there. Uh, that's like the top of the Battersea Power Station, which we are heading to next, which is where the lights are. So, yeah, I just thought I'd stop past here, kind of give you some options of various things to do. There's so many different places and stuff it, it's really a massive park i've never actually experienced it in its fullest obviously um so yeah plenty of activities i guess for the kids for the family for the big kids for the other people um yes cool let's keep going plenty of light here uh, because we're at like the track and field here. I didn't actually know there was one in here but wow literally Battersea Park has everything. It's even got an usher. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Hello. Not far now uh, literally just over the road and then we will be at something something uh, kind of Battersea Park power station where the lights are uh, now there are lights here. Da, da, da. Okay, so we're just leaving Battersea Park. This is, I think that's Albert Bridge, right? Albert Bridge. Um, Battersea Park Bridge, or Battersea Bridge is that one that way. And for some strange reason, this is actually Albert Bridge. Uh, but anyway, we are leaving the park. Goodbye park, goodbye. Uh, a couple of things I kind of looked up or found out was that the park is open, I think, from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m., but do double check that yourself. Uh, also, it was originally built or created between 1854 and 1870. So there you go. There's a bit of knowledge, a bit of dates, a bit of time for you to ponder. Uh, now we're gonna go this way, off to somewhere. 